all over the world, this building is known for its history, its architecture and its music. It's the Chapel of King's College, one of 31 colleges making up the University of Cambridge, England. The college was founded by Henry VI in the middle of the 15th century. Shortly afterwards, the building of the chapel began, but it wasn't until 100 years later, during the reign of King Henry VIII, that the building was finished. It boasts the largest span of an unsupported stone fan vaulted ceiling anywhere in the world. The building itself is a global tourist attraction, but the chapel is perhaps now best known in hundreds of countries as being the setting for the live broadcast of a festival of nine lessons and carols on Christmas Eve. Something that's been happening here every year but one since 1928 Year after year, the star of that broadcast is the chapel's organ. Welcome to the glorious setting of King's College Chapel, one of the absolute jewels in the crown of world architecture. And of course, also with a sensationally beautiful acoustic, which suits the world famous choir to perfection. High up above me on the screen is the famous Harrison organ. The casework in fact dates from the early 17th century but the majority of the pipes were made in 1934 and voiced by the famous organ builder Arthur Harrison. In 2016 after 82 years of almost constant use the organ needed to be fully restored. In this film we're going to follow the organ on that journey of restoration. Most of it packed into a lorry and taken 200 miles north to the factory of organ builders Harrison and Harrison. We'll follow one section sent for specialist reconditioning at an organ parts factory in East Anglia. We'll see how pipes are made and repaired and discover what's involved in the art of voicing. We'll watch how one man brings the iconic facade pipes back to their golden glory. Our microphones and cameras will let you see and hear the organ as never before. Scientists will explain how different pipes make different types of sound. 3D graphics will help us understand the organ's layout and inner workings. And all along the way we'll meet the people whose skills and passion will result in the rebirth of one of the most famous musical instruments in the world. But before all that, we're going to hear just a little of the rebuilt organ so that you can get a flavour of the glory of this restored instrument in this magnificent setting. Welcome to the organ loft of King's College Cambridge. I had the great honour to be the organ scholar here from 81 to 84. And here is the console. It's actually the, the structure of the console, the, the basic look of it is very similar to what Arthur Harrison left in 1934. I think the King's College organ is an absolute Rolls Royce, particularly for choral accompaniment. Of course, its primary job, day in, day out, is to accompany the world famous choir. And on this organ, we have three fully enclosed divisions. Uh, in fact, in the last rebuild, all the swell boxes were, were brand new, and uh, they're incredibly effective. Of course, one of the finest stops on this organ is the acoustic of King's College Chapel. Um, so here is uh, just an example of some sort of uh, psalm accompaniment where the, the amount of colour is almost infinite and uh, I'll just show you some of the different sounds that we can produce. So there's lots of opportunity for, for word painting. Of course, another very important function of the King's College Chapel organ is to uh, play magnificent hymns with uh, huge congregations. And uh, it's a very noble and grandiose sound uh, that, is, that is available. So it's dominated really, I think, by the, the fantastic battery of swell reeds uh, voiced by Arthur Harrison back in 1934. 
There was a sort of triumvirate of Harrison organs around about that period, the Royal Albert Hall, Westminster Abbey in um, 1937, and here at King's. And they're really like kind of distant cousins, uh, very much related. Uh, but these swell reeds, you can hear, absolutely glorious and uh, fantastic support for any congregation.